Hi, welcome back to Preface Nomad Junior. I'm teacher Athena. Today, you're going to learn how to send message between sprites in Scratch. Today, you're going to make a dice game. In this game, there are three sprites. A cat, a rolling dice, and a hidden dice faces. Let's have a look. When you press the green flag, this cat will say something. And if you click this rolling dice, it will change costume and roll. And afterwards, there will be a dice faces shown over here. In this project, you are going to learn how you can broadcast different messages in the Scratch projects. So let's create the world and characters for the projects. First of all, let's choose a backdrop. You can choose it in the Scratch library, or you can upload one from the internet. And then you can choose your character. If you do not want the cat, you can simply delete it and then find another character that you like. Okay, and then next we are going to find a rolling dice for our projects. You can simply go online and search rolling dice and put GIF at the end. And you can choose the one that you like and then download it into your computer. Let's go back to Scratch and upload it into the project. Okay. Let's go to costume and have a look. You will see that it automatically separates into different costume for you when you upload it into the Scratch. Now, let's add the dice faces into our projects. I've already prepared three dice faces here. You can simply use the square to make the dice and choose a black color outline for it. And then for the dots, you can use circle one. Now you're going to learn how you can duplicate it and make the number four dice faces. Simply right click and choose duplicate and choose the dots by pressing the shift button and then copy and paste it. Now you can use this function called flip horizontal to flip it and then position it into the right place to make the number 4 dice face. For number 5, you can simply duplicate and add a dot here by copy and paste and put it in the middle. Lastly, we are going to make the number 6 dice face. All right, so we have completed making all the dice faces. Remember, you have to rename it. Make sure that the one, the first dice face is number one. The second dice face is number two. And for the six, it will be costume six. Now, let's go back to the coding area. Let's add codes for the sprites. First, we are going to add codes for the main character. We can position it to the right place first. And get a green flag for it. I would like it to say something when it starts. So go to logs block and find say hello for two seconds. And we're going to type something inside. And you can change the number over here. I would like it to say this sentence for 4 seconds. So let's have a look. Okay, next we're going to add codes for the rolling dice. 
press the rolling dice and get a green flag for it. I would like my rolling dice to show when I press the green flag. So I have to go to looks block and find a show block here. Good. And then for the dice face, I would like it to hide when the game starts. So get a green flag and find a hide block over here. In this game, when the rolling dice is clicked, it will change its costume and looks like it is turning around. So let's go to the rolling dice. And we are going to find a block called when this sprite is clicked. We would like it to change its costume every 0.1 seconds. So go to looks block. We would choose next costume and find a block called waiting block wait one second and inside you can type 0 0.1 we would like these two actions to repeat for 48 times so you can go and grab a repeat block and wrap these two blocks together and change the value to 48 okay so let's have a look you can click the sprite you can click it and see how it looks like. It is changing its costume. Okay, next we are going to add a broadcast block. You can go to events and find a block called broadcast message one. Drag this block out and plug it underneath here. Inside, you can go to new message and you, have, you can type a message name for it. This time you can type show dice face and OK. So this broadcast message block is actually to help sending message within the Scratch program and it allows the script to continue in a different sprite. So now underneath this broadcast block, we would like to ask this rolling dice to hide. We would like it to send out a message to the dice face. So let's go into the dice face and ask the dice face to receive the message. You can go to events and find a block called when I received show dice face. Drag it into the coding area. Now, we will like our dice faces to switch its costume randomly. As you remember, we have six different costumes for the dice face. We can go to the looks block and find a block called switch costume 2. You can drag it inside. Next, because we wanted to switch the costume randomly, so you can go to the operators and find a block called pick random. And change the value to one to six, since we have six costumes in total. And then we would like our dice faces to show. Okay, so let's have a look. In this game, the character would like to get a number three dice faces. So if the dice faces is really number three, the character will say something. So we are going to add the codes underneath here. First, grab a if then block from the control. Inside, we would like it to be if the custom number equals to three. So go to operators and find a equal sign, put it inside. And go to logs block and find a block called costume number.
and change the number to three. Okay, so if the condition is the costume number three equals to three, then my dice face will send out a message. So we have to go to events and find a broadcast block and drag it inside. This time we would like to send out a message called correct. So you can create a new message and type correct. Good. Next, what if the number is not number three? This time we need a if then block. Put it underneath. And similarly, you have to drag a block from the operators. In this case, we need a block called not. Put it inside and find a block which is equal block. Put it inside the not block. So if the condition is not costume number equal to three, So if it is not costume number three, then it will broadcast a message. Call fail. Okay. We have already added two new broadcast block over here. And we need someone to receive the message. So the sprite, our main character, will receive this message. So go to your cat sprite. This time, we need to drag a block called when I receive. Put it over here. So when I receive a correct message that broadcasts from the dice space, first of all, we will wait one second and then say something. My character will say, awesome, you got it. You can type anything you like. Next, for the second message, we need to go to events and drag when I receive block. Change it to when I receive fail message. This time, we are going to add a waiting block here. And also say something. All right, so we can have a look now. Press the green flag to start the game. And you can click Drawing dice. Oh, if it's number three, then it will say awesome, you got it. Try again. If it's not free, then it will say can you please try again please? If you find out that the speech bubble cover your dice, you can simply reposition your main character to a place that it won't block your dice. So that when you play the game, you can see both sprite moving. So let's do a little recap of what we have learned today. First, you learned how to upload a GIF from the internet into the Scratch project. Second, you learned how to duplicate the costumes and edit it. Third, you learned a new block called Broadcast Message. This block helps us to send message within the Scratch program, and it also allows the script to continue in a different sprite. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the project. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get our daily contents. 
I'm teacher Athena, and this is Preface Nomad Junior.